all right guys welcome back to my channel gusty's plants i will be filming this video so you guys can see the quality i'll be filming it here with my iphone so the quality may not be the best i was not planning on filming anything my camera is not even charged here is my y2t t club for august august is a really special month for me it's my dad's birthday it already passed we, he got two cakes i got him some shorts spent time with him i had the day off Anywho, let's open up the box and see the teas they sent for August. <laughs> now, on, a, on the previous month, they sent the letter saying that they were going to transfer to Shop Shopify. So, why to you usually charges with PayPal, but I believe starting this month, they were going to do Shopify. I don't remember getting an email like um informing me about the change or if i didn't have a shopify account i don't remember them sending me an email i am a shopify user i use shopify but um let me know if you had an issue with not getting your box um in time or just let me know in the comments below what you think of that um so here is the tea looks like we just got one tea No, we didn't. We got multiple. We got three. Here are the teas. But before I show you the teas, let me read the letter. So let's see. It says, Greetings and welcome to the August Tea Club. This month we have a bit of a continuation from last month's offerings. White tea, because last month we got white tea. It says, um, Offerings with Fujian white tea mm -hmm, and fooding region compared to the Shanghai Teas of July's Club as well as a very experimental hei cha from Sichuan. Hei cha, from what I know, it's like the bricks, the black tea bricks, right? Um, Sichuan hei cha, also called dark tea, there you go. Has a long history. Initially, these teas were made from the absolute worst possible materials. Pictures, piles of twigs, stems, broken leaves, and um, that will... So pretty much hei cha is like the leftover, like the end pieces of the, of the bimbo you know and so we got that um and then we also got the 2022 fooding white tea an extremely but not weird um very widely available normal tea did we just get basic tea and leftover tea <laughs> um and it gives you the broken instructions okay well i'm not too impressed with this month um i was not expecting another white tea because we got white tea in the previous month and i think that's what we got again so I think this little, I think these little ones are the H's. This is the Shuan Shua Heng version. Oh, the light version. And then this is the heavy version, which is the Xia Huan. <laughs> I don't speak Cantonese or Mandarin, so yeah. Um, it'll be nice to try these together. The light version and the dark version as i did with the white tea that we got last month i tried the black tea and i tried the white tea um i tried both of the white tea side by side and there was definitely a difference so here we have a light and a dark version of the same tea and then we also got this one i like the packaging this is just a plain basic fudin white tea now to me, fooding white tea is more like a citrusy, um, light tea. I love white tea, it's my favorite. Um, I used to not, but now I do. And it, to me, a fooding white tea gives me more like a citrusy tea that I can actually cold brew. And it gives me like a very nice, fruity, um, cold brew tea. So I'll probably be doing this tea as a cold brew. I'm not gonna be drinking it hot. I'll drink it hot once just to kind of get a feel for it. Um, but this is a tea that I actually tried before and i love it as a cold brew because it has those like you know fruity citrusy orangey nuances that i really like to taste when i'm doing a cold brew drink um, especially right now in the summer this is something that i actually do like and this is something that i actually have purchased before and so here it is not this specific tea in general but um in general <laughs> um i do like to drink my white fooding teas as a cold brew um, yeah, it's too late though to be drinking dark black tea, so I'll probably continue filming this video tomorrow after I come home from work or in the early morning before I head to work. So I have to compare these two black teas and uh, I'll be back giving you guys an option. 
give you guys a review um follow me on instagram i'll leave the link somewhere here in the video as i always do or maybe just here in the panhandle um but yes that's pretty much it i really am not happy with this month i was expecting a cake and um they mentioned something about a cake on last month's letter and we didn't get a cake so hmm I'm a little bit let down we did get a cake two months ago so not too shabby but um i was expecting more than just leftover teas like they mentioned in the letters um anyways let me know in the comments below what you thought of this month and if you subscribe to y2t's and if you're new here my name is gus hi welcome introduce yourself in the comments below or just follow me on instagram and hate my tns just let me know that you followed me or that you found me on instagram or you found me on um on, sorry, on youtube <laughs> um anyways thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one well i'll try the teas and then i'll add that part to this video and then we can continue all right guys so i thought it'd be fun to try the um heavy version uh quan hey quan hey and the light version as well so heavy and light uh to compare and contrast these are both um new teas from y2t apparently he made a batch in 2023 and it was a complete and order failed so he did it again in 2024 this year which is what we have here he made two different batches one heavy and one light and so we're gonna give it a shot i will be using just regular guy ones and um two different bowls these are from these are both from actually everything here it's from um tall tea wear and i'll be comparing the color the heavier if one is oily one is not and the taste i've never had hecha tea or hecha black tea dark tea and so let's give it a go so the heavy one i'm gonna add to the to this guy one here i'm gonna add the whole thing that's the heavy and then the light version i'm gonna add to the white guy one so lighter is white darker or heavier is brown i'm gonna just go ahead and start brewing i'm gonna give them a quick rinse um, they look quite the same, to be honest. Um, let's give, just give them a quick rinse, and then we'll be back. Let me just give them a quick little five seconds rinse. Okay, so let's see. That was a quick little rinse. This looks kind of green, actually. It smells green. It smells like a white tea. And this is, okay, so you can definitely tell the difference. Um, if I zoom it in, you can see this is more of a green color. And then this is definitely more roasted, a little bit darker. It's still a little bit green, but it's darker. Let's steep it for the first time and see the color change and everything. All right, so let's go ahead and pour this out. So this is the heavy color. I was expecting more of like a dark color, kind of like a like a poor, but it's not. It's giving me a very light color. I am using a 205 Fahrenheit hot water. That's the first one. That's the light. This is the heavy. Color wise, it looks the same. Um, let's just serve it up. That's the light. This is the heavy. Okay, same color. Let's give it a taste. All right, so light. Oh God. Uh, if that's light, it's, it's astringent, it's bitter. Um, it's not good, I don't like it. I've never had HL before, this is my first time, so I don't like that. The light one is, I'm too astringent. Let's try the heavy one. Okay. Not my favorite, but it's way better than the light. Uh, for some reason, it's very floral. It's kind of giving me jasmine-y um, green tea. Um, but this is less astringent. Yeah, it's it's a lot more, more I don't want to say fruity, but it's floral. The heavy one. Oh God, but it's not good. But the, the light one. I could taste the difference though. It just has that strong lingering bitterness. They both have it. Um, the light one is more um, vegetal, 
more kind of like a biluchon green tea and then the other one the heavy one is more like a jasmine green tea i'm gonna dispose this i don't like it i'm gonna throw them away and i'll do the second rinse the second steep but so far these are not it i don't like them i'm actually gonna do a very short steep i think i probably over steeped it even though i only did like seven ten seconds each i'm gonna do a quick little um steep here I'm not sure if these are meant to be drank as um, Kung Fu style. They maybe are meant to be drank kind of like in a big teapot, kind of like Western style tea. Maybe that's why I'm not uh, fond of the flavor. Uh, but it tasted like if I had it steeped in for hours. And it's not good. And also the color of it is not... Look at the color. It's like water. A slight color difference. This is heavier in color, the heavier one. And the lighter one is definitely more of like a yellow green. Um, so this is the light again, right? Um, the heavier one. All right, so let's try. So let's try the second steep of the light version. I had a little tea leaf in there. Definitely less uh, astringent. Mm -mm, it's not good. The heavier one. Okay. So the the heavier one I like. I like that better on the first steep, and I like it now better on the second steep. I'm not gonna drink the first the light version because it's just not good. I think that I will call it quits. I'm gonna trash that. Um. I'll steep for the sake for the well you know what I'll steep them again each for the third time um I just don't like the the, the light version for some reason the the heavy one is better um it kind of smells like a like a green tea the leaves oh yeah even on yeah no okay I'm not gonna drink the white one just for sm smelling it smells like it smells bad sorry for the darkness here it's very dark but anyways um let me steep the light ver the dark version one more time i'll do a quick a quick steep quick steep here um what i've noticed is that if you're um watching this video and you haven't gotten your tea for august i will suggest that you do very short steeps like Pour the water, cover it, and then pour it out. Don't do 10 seconds, that's too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, short steeps with these hecha teas are better. For some reason, I thought hecha bricks were like dark, like puar tea, but this is loose leaf. I think we, he probably sent me the 2023 fail batch instead of the 2024. <laughs> this is probably one of the worst teas I've um, tried from white to tea. Um, the other one that we received was the white tea one here. The fruity white tea. And I, I mentioned I'm going to do this as a cold brew. Um, I am very let down. This is probably the worst subscription. This is probably the worst box from white to tea in my year and a half being with them. And I am not happy. I'm not pleased with this. Um, the lingering aftertaste, the bitterness, the astringency, the floral, the... It's not good. Um, I'll end it here. Um, the only thing I could say here is that the the clear winner, if it, if it had to pick a winner from the worst, is like having Kamala Harris and Donald Trump running for president. You have to pick the best from the worst. And um, the uh, heavy version, it's the best from the worst. Um, I even spilled the water on the table and yeah. Guys, um, this was not a good one. I am not happy, and I'm, but I am being 100% honest. I want to be real with you guys and not sugarcoat anything. This tea was horrible. I don't like it. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you got your box. And if you didn't, are you excited? Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, though. It looks like green tea. I'm not sure what I was thinking with HOs, but this is not it.